bottom of the mountain. And this is not recommended for highway use, not to exceed uh, five miles an hour. Okay, how do you get it to go? Um, I have to learn how to operate. Whoa, nice. Let's see, can he do it? He can do it. Look, she's helping. Woohoo! So the children taught one of the sheep how to get up there. That's crazier horns. Her mom's the one on the farthest left. So now she acts like a goat or a dog and runs up top <laughs> and gets hay from up there if she gets impatient for chores. <laughs> That's so cool, child. And look at Dodge center screen. What a creature. Wow. All right, guys, Papa Pepper back once again on the Abundant Harvest Homestead. Oh, this video is just going to include a couple different things, I think. I think we're gonna include a little bit of food because we've been eating food lately and I sometimes wind up with this random pieces of food, uh, video footage anyway. And uh, they're not always easy to work in. Like the last video I was gonna have some in and uh, wound up being a 29 minute video. So it didn't seem like a good place to try to squeeze that in. So we'll have some food in here. So be forewarned, you may want to eat something before you continue with this video. So one thing we're doing too, here we're gonna enjoy a nice bit of tacos for lunch, but we not only have kale from the garden, but we've chosen to have some chickweed with it too. So a good weed in our garden that we can harvest as a crop because we know that it is healthy and good for us and something we can add in here to make it even more delicious. What do you guys think about that? Tastes good. Me, me, Yeah, all right. <laughs> You had something to say? Yeah? Okay. Look at that, guys. That's chickweed taco. That is going to be so delicious. So here's a roast from that cow that had the cesarean section. Already being put to good use here. Had some fresh off the grill yesterday while we were working on her. And now she gets to join us for dinner. Not bad, Mom. Not bad. Now that we got the food out of the way, we're going to be checking out this gorilla cart and wow some people have chimed in and said they've had one that they've been using for like seven or eight years i think that it's been doing really well the family actually teamed up together and put it together so that was a mama pepper and little peppers project right yeah. and uh looks pretty good and it's probably actually going to be able to roll right over this stuff and bring some things in here because what we'll be working on today is Actually here, I grew some stuff last year. We grew some striped toponica corn. We grew some uh, green noodle beans over here. We've got some marshmallow planted. Um, that'll be coming back. We grew some snake gourds, I think, too. Those are just pruning cuttings. But we're going to be making a number of little raised beds that are going to be more permanent, kind of what you, like what you see heading around the outside of this area at this point. Hey, bugger. I wanted that cart over there because I'm gonna unload some of that stuff. So we got some rocks, we got some mulch. The plan is simple. Take kind of down what I got here, make a mulch border, and then on top of that mulch border, stack rocks. Leave openings to the cages and um, go from there. So I've been having some rocks lately. Got some more on top of the thing. And uh, we got a load of mulch and I'll tell you what, when I went and picked up that load of mulch, um, it looked like there was not much left. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take um, 
before they get some more. And that, we used the camera down at the lake last night. It's got stuff on the lenses. You should clean your lenses better than that too. But yeah, so we got a lot of the stuff phased through already. A lot of the stuff looking pretty nice. Getting all of our rock and our brown in place. Yeah? Yeah. And um... Yeah? Hey, what did we do today? We went to the lake, what did we do? Come uh, here, bugger. Fish. We caught fish? Yeah. Do you think we should show that video now so people can see you catch fish quick too? Big crab. A big crab? Yeah. A big crayfish, did it try to pinch you? Yeah. It did. And you didn't, he didn't wipe off his mouth after lunch. Run back and get a wipe, or I gotta wipe you in the truck. We're gonna wipe your face off. We got some uh, meat candy from the Motor City uh, Barbecue Sauce Company while we were in Michigan, gifted to us by Iron Shield. So uh, some uh, friends of ours, they put, out, they put out the Ben and Lauren show, yeah. but they gave us some of that. Okay, we'll roll the... Big fish. Yeah, we'll, we'll put the fishing stuff right now, okay? Here we go, fishing stuff. And now that we're back, I'll get these rocks unloaded and we'll test out this gorilla cart a bit. Guys, this is some of the stuff I love too. Look at this guy. I told him to go get me empty buckets. Come here, bring them this way, son. He went and got three. This kid's only two. He'll have his third birthday in a bit, but nice job, son. Way to help. So since we're inserting some other stuff in here, I won't show you guys kind of every bit in detail, but pretty much I took down the hog panel cleaned up some of the stuff in this area right now i'm working on sorting through the rocks anything that's small and can get used in our rock pillar fence going in buckets right now i'm reinforcing the inside because i want rocks on each side of these fences so nothing can dig underneath an ongoing process that we have not finished yet but we're going to kind of remove everything from here then add our layer of mulch then add that starting to clean up this area and also this tree here is going to get pruned back and removed because we don't really need any of that so oh you're starting there bugger we're going to try using the gorilla cart for that the gorilla cart yeah bring the buckets this way well this turned into quite a deal mama pepper came out to prune that down 
monster truck's been helping with some stuff. These guys over here, they got going on this before I could even help take care of it. Already putting that gorilla cart to use, huh? Yeah. Wow, yeah. we'll see how it works. This is the test drive. I'll get a pitchfork out there soon and some other things and we'll Papa, give her a go. Earlier we used it to move a hay bale. You moved a hay bale with it too? Yeah. To the other pasture? Yeah, um, we moved it all the way up there and it went right up the ramp. Whoa, it worked? Yeah. Nice. King of the mountain. He's a big bugger. And by the time I got everything ready and the rocks off of here, they already had one loaded. So I'm just gonna pull this in across here or maybe I won't even have to. And this is not recommended for highway use, not to exceed uh, five miles an hour. So even with our stepping stones, it still rolls right in there. As you can see, I had to think about things and leave paths between my resources to make sure to get the cart in. I have to do a little bit of that when I'm carrying five gallon buckets, but not quite as much. There's Mama Pepper working on her forearms or biceps? Both? I guess, yeah. Oh. <laughs> so we're just gonna kind of go from over here where this panel of the gate opens, bring it out, bring it over and then bring it back before that one. And we're just gonna make a raised bed here. I'm also going to put the border up like I did on the far side to kind of pre prevent things from pecking through and grabbing all the seedlings. So that's what we're up to. Turn around. Yeah, you got it. And then back it up here. Right about here is where we're doing it. How does it dump? Oh, how does it dump? Yep. I got it to pull it like right here. Okay. And then what? Whoa, so easy a child could do it. Now pull forward a little bit. And go fill it back up. Thank you. Wow! That was easy. Alright, now let's start it Okay, how do you get it to go? Up. I have to learn how to operate it. Whoa! Nice. Pull forward. That thing's gonna come in handy, ain't it? Well, I'll see if I have enough supplies on hand, but this is going pretty well. Mama Pepper even likes it. And that piece like made for a corner. That's pretty cool. I'm missing a little bit on the back row, but we'll see what we got. I might have an idea. And Belle is enjoying the chickens, right baby girl? You sneaking in there to try to get them? She's Look, big brother helping. Here. Don't let her pet the claws. <laughs> All right, come on up. Yeah, don't touch them. Darling, what do you think? I think it looks beautiful, darling. The sun, dump her right there. And then spread her out. Make a new layer. We lay it on thick. Let's see, can he do it? He can do it. Look, she's helping. Woohoo! 
All right, kids, nice and easy. We no. want that thing to last. No. It's a great tool for our homestead. Go. All right, feed bag races. You made it all the way to the gorilla cart. You're the big winner. How's that feel? Good. All right, hop away. So, that actually looks really sharp. Even Mama Pepper likes it. That's the goal, that's the idea. We're gonna have one of them here, and then one of them from the end of this door over to there. It won't quite be as big, but it'll be back there. We've already got some perennial marshmallow growing in that area. And then a good way to have, if you guys can see the standing bamboo in there, we've got an upper canopy that we can grow as well. So, yeah. Well, now we gotta fill it with a ton of soil, but I've got some good ideas for that. And over the years, we can build it up more and more. As I go, too, I get a little bit better, I think, at trying to figure out how to build with just these uncut rocks. Right, girl? And uh, it's actually pretty sturdy. And as we go, too, if we get enough soil in there, I can remove that layer of rocks, pinning the flat ones to the thing. And that'll work out pretty good. too is they'll load these for free um, where I pick up this free mulch but I've got to unload it every once in a while I have to load it too but no matter what I've got to unload it my normal way of doing that is just a pitchfork and five gallon buckets it's a lot easier to fill this this is probably about four to six five gallon buckets worth and it's a much easier target just to aim for which means if I can be uh, less careful with you know throwing it over where I'm not aiming at a little bucket I'm aiming at this thing it works out a lot better for us so that's cool we're gonna continue to work through this area and I gotta save some of this because I'm thinking of a swap which will happen in an upcoming video too so oh this video was a little tasty a little fishy but we got to use the gorilla cart hopefully you guys enjoyed it I'll see you next time pop out